I liked my veil. My veil was so long. It was. It just didn't look very good on my body, I don't think. I'd probably rate this one like three out of 10, to be honest. This dress, it literally looks like, I don't know. It just does not shape me very well. It just wasn't very flattering on my body, in my opinion. It was not, not my favorite. I don't know. I feel like everyone knows my style better than I know my own style. And so like, they really helped me out. Hello you guys, welcome back to our channel. So I'm currently filming this video in my parents' room because their room has the best lighting right now. I wanted to start a new series called Wedding Talk Wednesday. It is wedding season right now. I know so many people that are about to get married. It's been a year since I got married and I kind of want to talk about the things I did at my wedding or bachelorette party, bridal showers that were my favorite things. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm in. He has like a little sweatshirt on. Oh yeah, come here, come here. In today's video though, we are going to react to wedding dresses that I tried on when I was trying to find my perfect dress. Um, and I'm going to rate the ones that I tried on and see what I thought about them. This dress, it was really pretty, but now looking back on it, I'm like, it's not my favorite and I'm very glad I did not go with it. It's pretty, but I don't like it on me. I don't even know if I like it really anything about it. I don't love like the material on the bottom. The lace top was cute, but like it was, you would have to like put lining underneath because there was no lining underneath. Maybe there was a nude lining. There was like some type of weird nude lining underneath, but you'd have to like put an actual lining underneath it. I didn't love where the neck went on it. It was like kind of, it was a mock neck almost. That dress, I don't know. I'd probably rate it four out of 10. What would you guys rate it? I don't like it as much as I thought I did. And I think I would have put a different veil with that dress if I got that, because I don't really like that veil. It's, I liked my veil. My veil was so long. Anyway, next dress. Okay, I love this dress, and I think I love it more now than I did then. When I went into dress shopping, I went in was like, I want boho dresses, I want to try on boho dresses. And then when I was there trying on boho dresses, I was like, mm, do I want a boho dress? <laughs> and so I kind of like ended up trying on everything, which was very good because then I could find out what I liked, what I didn't like, what looked good with my body shape, what didn't look good with my body shape. And literally I found out so much. So I tried on like so many dresses. This one I loved so much. It was definitely boho. Um, I would definitely take up the top though. I would have had to because that was like way too low. And it's just like, I don't know. I just, just didn't love how low it went, but they said they could have put up the V a little bit higher. Cause like, I like my V-necks like this, I don't know. And then I like the sleeves on this, they were like sheer. Oh, and then they came and scrunched at the bottom of my wrist right there, which I thought was super cute. I love like the ruffles on it and stuff. I don't know, I just thought it was a really cute dress. And then on this one, they like also put the shorter veil with it. And I like the shorter veil with this one, but I think I would do a little bit of a longer veil. But yeah, I'd probably rate this one like a nine out of 10. I really like this dress. It was really pretty. This dress was pretty. I think the flowers were just like too much on me and on like the waist, it didn't like cinch as well as I wanted it to. It wasn't like super fitted, but it, I don't know. It was like a weird fit. It wasn't super fitted, but like was also trying to be like a fitted dress. It was. It just didn't look very good on my body, I don't think. And then I didn't love how long the sleeves were. They were like kind of at an awkward length. I feel like if it was more fitted, and maybe if they did something different as the belt, I would like it a little bit more, but I'd probably rate this one like three out of 10, to be honest. What would you guys rate this one? I don't know. It was cute, but also, again, just, okay. This one was so pretty. Um, I just needed to do a lot of altering to this one, but I really liked how it was like flowers on the top and then they, they kind of like faded down on the bottom of the dress. I don't know. I also loved like the sheer sleeves. The only reason I didn't want like full length sleeves is because it was June. And so I don't know, even though they're sheer, I just feel like that was more of a 
like winter dress, not as much as a summer dress, even though they are sheer. I could be totally wrong. And then again, I would have to put the v-neck up just a little bit, but this one I feel, I feel like looked, I like the v-neck of this one a little bit better. It just needed to be put up just a little bit more. And I need to add a little bit of lining underneath. But other than that, it was a super cute dress. I liked it a lot. I'd probably rate this one like an eight out of 10. Next one, this one was, I love this dress so much. I love the corset top, it was so pretty. And I feel like it fit really, really well. The sleeves on this one were so fun. They like weren't even like connected to the dress at all. Um, so like I was so confused when I was putting the dress on, I was like, what in the heck? But you just put it up like this and like cinch it right there onto your arm. And it was so cute. It had like butterflies on it, I'm pretty sure, or flowers, I can't even remember. But it was really, really pretty. I loved that dress. Um, I, if, I feel like it fit really well on top. I wanted my dress to specifically have a little bit more of a fitted bottom, like bottom of the dress. But th for this dress, it was like perfect. I'd probably rate this one nine out of 10. It was cute. Okay, this next dress, this is the one that had huge, huge, huge competition with the dress I actually got. They were really similar, but the dress I ended up getting fit my body. Like, I feel like it fit like a glove almost. And then the other one was like really thick. I don't know, my dress, it felt like really thin on my body. And honestly, it was nice because it's not super heavy and it was June when I got married. So it was really hot outside. I did love this one though. And I kind of, I like this one, but I think I didn't like it as much because the sleeves were a little bit longer. They're kind of at that weird length. Um, but they could have taken them up a little bit. But yeah, it, otherwise it was a really, really, really pretty dress. I really liked this one. It fit really well. It just kind of felt like thick on me. Like it didn't feel like it was like touching my body. I don't even know, but I wanted it to like feel more fitted than it actually was. If that even makes sense, I don't know. But yeah, I probably rate this one a nine out of 10 considering I almost got it. Maybe I'd say 10 out of 10. It was a really pretty dress. My dress I feel like was, no, nah, I would say nine out of 10. I'm changing my mind. Nine out of 10 for sure on that one. So this one was definitely one of the more boho dresses and I don't have a very good like shot of the dress, like a picture of the dress because I had to screenshot these from my YouTube video. So if you guys want to go watch that, go watch that of me actually trying them on in everyone's reactions. But yeah, I like this one if I were to wear like an actual boho dress. I wish it was a different like pattern on the main part of the dress. I don't even know how to explain it. But I liked the belt and I liked the bottom. Like I liked how it was fitted and then right like toward my knees, it started like flare out a little bit. I thought that was really, really pretty, but it didn't like flare out too much. I don't know, I it fit really, really good. It felt like a glove. I didn't really love the sleeves on this one. I thought they're a little bit weird, but it was really pretty. I liked this dress a lot. I'd probably rate it like an eight out of 10. It was definitely a cute one. They, when I was there, instead of trying it on with a veil, they had me try it on with like a hat, like a, what are you are they? Like one of those like hats you'd wear to the beach or whatever. Like all the Utah moms were then like, on their, the crown of their head. I wear them all the time too, so. But obviously I'm from Utah. Fit in with that group, except I'm not a mom yet. <laughs> anyway, okay. So this next one, I have like the worst screenshot of it ever. It felt a little too winter vibes for me. I, again, I love the sheer sleeves and I thought they were so fun. The sleeves on this, they didn't, they weren't really fitted at the bottom. Like it went like out like this. Like do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like it went out like that. Kind of weird, but like not out enough. I don't know. I feel like it either should have went out a little bit more and made them like more flowy or just more fitted because it wasn't very fitted. Maybe they could have like altered that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't love a whole ton about this dress other than I liked the sheer sleeves like with the design on it. It was cute, but I feel like I would have only got that if I was getting married like in the fall or the winter or even like the spring. So I don't know. It just didn't feel like a summer wedding dress. The next one I tried on, I liked the sleeves on this one. They, even though they were like longer, I feel like they looked good. I don't know, I th thought they were really pretty. This dress, it literally looks like, I don't know, it just does not shape me very well. It was very simple, but I just feel like on like, it just didn't look 
I don't even know how to explain it. I, it just wasn't very flattering on my body, in my opinion. So I'd probably rate this one like a, honestly like a three out of 10. I think the veil that I tried on with that one was really, really pretty. Is that the one I even got? I think I got that veil. I can't tell in the picture. But yeah, I liked it. Just, it was not, not my favorite. And then last dress was the one I picked, so I figured I'd just include it if you guys have not seen my wedding dress yet. I had the longest veil ever. I loved it and I thought it was so pretty. I think I think I took it off during the reception. Yeah, I loved it. I loved I feel like the sleeves were really pretty. They like were fluttery on me and I feel like they were at a really good length. It fit my body really well. I loved the train on the dress. I don't know. It just like fit like a glove, so I love my dress very very much well that is all of the dresses i have to show you guys the very first dress i tried on when i was dress shopping was the one i ended up getting which was insane i cannot believe that like first when i first tried that on the literally the reason i picked it was because i thought i wouldn't like it and i ended up wearing it to my wedding so one of my advice my advice to you guys is when you are dress shopping try the dresses on even if you don't like how it looks like just randomly pick one, try it on, see how it looks on you because I would have never ever picked that dress by looking at it on the hanger, to be honest. Wedding dress shopping is so fun. My grandma's, my best friend Caitlin, and my mother-in-law, and obviously my mom. So it was really fun. I had a good group of people that were just supportive of me and I don't know, I feel like everyone knows my style better than I know my own style. And so like they really helped me out like by giving me dresses to try on. Anyways, if you guys are about to get married or if you guys know someone that, that is getting married, let them know about these, this series of Wedding Talk Wednesday. I'm gonna talk all about like um, pricings of weddings and just like tips that I think you should have at your wedding. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you guys next time. Bye you guys.